love you, yeah. Hate you, then they love you, then they hate you, yeah. Lord. Had a really, really good question today. How to tell your friends or family members that you are dealing with a mental condition called derealization, depersonalization, or panic attacks? Whew. That's a rough one. <laughs> That's a great question, though. That's a a wonderful question because that's one of the hardest things to do um, initially when everything happened I talked to one person I, the first thing that happened to me was panic attacks so um, I did call my mother and my father knew about it you know cuz you know cuz I was going to like the ER and all that stuff so I, I made sure that you know they were aware but um when it started going into like you know the disillusionment, derealization phase, or um, and depersonal depersonalization phases, I did I did not know how to tell um, anybody to be honest with you because like how do you tell somebody that like I feel like I'm out of my body like I'm watching. Like, my words are coming out of my mouth, you know, before I say them. You know, like, I mean, it was just crazy. Um, in addition to that, you know, your 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 reality is uh, fake, you know? Like, you know, you feel like, um, basically, you know, you're just a ghost of spirit sometimes because of the depersonalization. Like, who, who says that, you know what I'm saying? And who's going to believe that, you know? Like, the average person cannot understand that, you know? The average person is, is just going to tell you that you're crazy, and you tell the wrong person you might be in a mental institution because that person might lead you. So you got to tell somebody you trust. You know, you don't want to tell somebody that's just going to be, like, lead you to all these different doctors and all that stuff. Like, I, I think that you should tell somebody you trust that's loyal and someone you feel is going to show empathy, meaning that they're not going to judge you, um, they're not going to act like they understand. They're not going to be non-sympathetic and be like, you need to get over it and figure it out, you know, and blah, blah, blah. You need to tell somebody who's just going to listen to you, you know. And that's the key thing. The key thing is making sure somebody listens to you. Um, I told my mother like two weeks ago, go figure. And she didn't know about any of that stuff for at least a year. But she kind of she kind of went through a couple things with me, like when I had hyperventilation attack or whatever and uh you know just you know she saw me when I was like at my peak when I was lost mentally and out of it make a long story short two weeks ago I I called her and um, I said mom I said I'm going to tell you something she kind of knew a little bit I kind of expressed it before but wasn't heavy on it I said um don't try to understand what I'm about to say or try to relate to it because it's not going to make sense. I was like, it's not going to make sense. So don't try to understand it. Don't judge. And I'm not looking for answers because, you know, I've, I've gotten further along, you know. So I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm not looking for answers. I just want you to listen. And um, honestly, I think she did a good job. You know, I don't know if she still really understands, but she's aware, you know. Um, right now, it's a little, it's difficult for me to tell other family members, not because I don't love them, I just don't know if, you know, they're capable of dealing and handling uh, what will come out of my mouth regarding the thoughts that um, I had, the things that I still go through on a daily basis. Uh, I just really don't know, you know, if they can figure that out. So, anyways, I thought that was a, a great question. To me, that is how you tell, hold on, people. Sorry. Um, I think that's how you, you share it with your family and friends. Start off with somebody loyal and go from there. But you got to tell somebody. You don't want to, look, you don't want to suppress that. That, I guarantee you, is poisonous. You know, it's like being in a room and poisonous gas is leaking in. Like, you're, gonna, you're going to go crazy if you don't express yourself. Because it's so crazy, you don't even believe that you're going through this. You're like, 
you trying to figure like what the heck is going on with my with my mind and that's the sad the crazy i don't say the sad but the crazy thing about it is that like to the normal person you look normal they're like what is he talking about what is she talking about like we look normal we look like nothing is wrong with us but it's not about what's going on on the outside it's about what's going on on the inside but let me tell you though it is a journey it does take work and the reason why you need somebody who will just listen is because you just you need somebody there for support you may have to go to therapy cognitive therapy don't be ashamed don't be embarrassed go tell a therapist go but just make sure you find somebody who is uh, who specializes in the fields of panic attacks and derealization and depersonalization okay so anyways thank you for that wonderful question um, I love answering questions. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more uh, video updates. And if you have a question, just ask. I mean, I don't have all the answers. All I can tell you is what got me through and where I'm at today. And uh, that's the best I can do. I'm just here to, to help and tell my side of the story, all right? So with that being said, I'll check you a little later on, all right? Have a good day. Or good evening, <laughs> wherever you're at. Uh, bye.